Today I'm here just in my backyard and we're gonna do a little multi-species fishing, probably some smallmouth bass and whatever else is biting. It's after six, so we just have a little evening fish here, starting off in some of these big, beautiful weed beds that have come up this year. And I'm gonna be throwing a chatterbait to start with. First fish, just a little smallmouth bass. On the chatter bait. Ah. Oh, oh, crap, I missed one. You know, apparently these days, serious bass guys use a slower action rod for their chatter bait fishing, like a crankbait rod because with the fast action rod, a lot of times you can end up pulling, ripping the bait right out of their mouths. The blade kind of pushes its way out and uh, you'll get a better hookup ratio if you use a slower action. But the weeds aren't really up to the top yet, so I'm gonna see if I can get away with a jerk bait here. We're on the other side. The sun hit side now. We worked that weed edge, only had a couple bites. Now we're on the side that's getting that evening sun directly on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, missed him. Dang it. I don't know what kind of bass that was. There we go. What's this? Oh, he wasn't fighting like a bass. Look at that. Jerk bait walleye. That's what I'm talking about. Come here. Look at that pretty thing. Oh. There you go. Huh. There he is. The walleye. Look, he got caught in a donut. Oh, oh it's kind of, kind of bait. There, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of fish over there. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, missed him. Hey. Oh. Another little midget smallie. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit better one. When I say a little bit better, I mean a little bit better. He did he did do a really good hit though. <laughs> Look at these little guys. Yeah, the smallmouth here in this river, they run small. Maybe it's because the minnows are so small. There we go. Okay. 
Hey. Hey, little buddy. Stinky. There we go. Another little midget smallmouth. It's full of them. Hey, 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 hey. This one might be the smallest one. The smell of this place is giving me a headache. So we're going back up river. Never fished here before, but sometimes I like to catch bass or walleye in clear water at night using these artificial light sources. They can feed in that light, obviously. Sometimes minnows are attracted to that light too. And so you can get some night fish. Oh, I got one. He's tiny. What is it? Oh, there's another one chasing him. Oh, there's two more chasing him. Oh my God, there's like seven little bass. Holy crap. Hold on, hold on, what? There we have one. Oh, got him, immediately. Immediately, there's that corner over there. That went slightly better. It's like a full 12 inches. There he is. Nice little smallie. There's a ton of nighttime smallie activity going on here, folks. It's like I can't even move the bait before it gets hit. Night feeding in the artificial light. There we go. Dude, I am barely able to move the bait. It's like two jerks. It's incredible. There's gotta be some good ones mixed in eventually. There you go. But this being, yeah, let's call it seven. That's number seven, and we're gonna start counting right now because I'm not seeing the size. The numbers might be the most remarkable thing about today if I keep fishing. Yep, hey, hey, hey there we go. Starting to get somewhat respectable, or maybe only the smarter, bigger ones are left. Okay, all right, there you go. That one fought real good because he was hooked Hooked funny. But he had a bunch of buddies with him. Do we have a new species in the mix? Yes. Yes, we do. What's this? Oh! What am I dealing with? Am I dealing with a hybrid or am I dealing with... I'm not good at this. I think it's just a white bass based on the... Uh, how straight the stripes are and the size of the head. All right, everybody's out here feeding at night. There we go. Jeez. Oh, well that's a little better one. That's definitely a little better one. Doing a little relaxed local fishing. 15 or so smallmouth landed, not really sure. Uh, also got one white bass, it was pretty nice, and a good looking walleye. And I got on a bite I've never got on before, which is summertime night fishing with jerk baits for bass using the light from those barge piers or whatever you call them, maybe it's big spotlights on them. And that they were using that to feed, they were packed in there. It was pretty cool. Uh, all the fish were on the Shadow Wrap Shad. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.